Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ruger's on spray. I got the L on me. Don't make me use it today. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, undraftedshop.com for the cap I got on and ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Got a couple things I want to get into today, but, uh, you know, I'm going to do this one and then I got one more. Then I'm going to work. See, I got to give you the work. Then I got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my guy Showtime SP, the nobody that knows body. So, um, DNA kind of like responded. He got back at, at uh, the fans and Lux about a potential battle. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, once DNA's name is involved, people want to say what they say and feel how they feel. And I, for one, feel like DNA has upped his profile. He's got uh, Get Money and Drink Water, subscribe to it on YouTube. He does the interviews, he does the face-offs, and he's done a lot for himself, you know what I'm saying? I remember when people were saying, DNA gets booked too much, nobody wants to see him, shit like that. But now he's really, really, really moved himself into a respectable lane. And you got to respect, like, when somebody elevates and somebody continues to set themselves apart, because in this game you got... A million battle rappers that do the same thing. You got a million bloggers that do the same thing. It's everybody trying to get a piece of the same pie. When I see somebody do what DNA's been doing, you know, he's got his music, he's got his clothing, he's got his media, and all that and all of that. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect and salute to him. So, you know, he got with uh, Uncle Rod, you know what I'm saying? And he, he has spoke about that whole situation. Uh, I don't really got a whole bunch of time today for editing and shit, so I'm going to just play his clip. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think, and we'll talk about it. Let's break it down a little bit more. He said... Against me. I'm the nigga that figures it out. Yep. So I'd rather y'all say y'all don't want to see y'all king lose. I respect that. But don't ever tell me that it, it can't happen, because I'm going to do it like nobody else did it. Mm -hmm. And then y'all going to find something new to say. Like, oh, he wasn't motivated. Oh, we didn't want to see it. Yep, so yep. I'd rather y'all say... Y'all don't want to see it. Don't fix your face to say he will win because he won't. It won't be close. Mm. Don't say that. Just say y'all don't want to see it. And I respect that. And we're going to move on and talk about something else. That's the only thing that, I'm that, I don't even need to play no more. It's on 15 It's on fifteen minutes of fame. Go peep the interview with DNA responding to Beloved. You know what I'm saying? Like, go, 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 go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to that. That's a Snapple top fact. And, um... You know, a lot of people peeped the blog yesterday, and I definitely appreciate y'all for watching. But um, when it comes to uh, Loaded Lux, I personally said that Loaded Lux has not shown his hand in this era against this era's version of Killers. And that is not far from the truth. He's battled against, yes, uh, Averb. Averb is not from this class or this scene, or he's from e everybody that he's battling, really. It's from like the DVD era, except for Surf. But we all knew what Surf was going to do before Surf knew what he was going to do. When Surf got that bag, he went straight to the studio and started recording music. He was not even, he ain't give a shit about no Loaded Lux battle. And we all told y'all, and people looked at us like we was crazy when we were saying that he ain't even give a shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Like the man, once the man got paid, they could hit y'all with one of these joints, the shaky joint. I'm out of here. Thank you. Good looking. And now he's doing uh, the, 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 um, Media shit, announcing, you know what I'm saying? Like interviewing after battles, that goes to show he really ain't care about no battle rap. I mean, but he's a great businessman. He's smart. He's able to elevate himself. And when he wants to, he can bring you three fire rounds. He did it versus Gichi Gotti. And he's done it in some other battles. But for the most part, the luck shit really wasn't um, what he was focused on. Um, if him versus if DNA versus Lux was to happen, I don't think that y'all should think that DNA is just going to go there and there, lay down and die. DNA was fire versus Luke Castro. DNA was fire not too long ago versus Ab. DNA was fire versus Mickey Fax. Like, he's got mad battles. So, you don't gotta really, You don't have to like a person to respect them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to. Like, it doesn't have to be your favorite person. Like, for instance, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. But, I see what LeBron has done in the last 18 years. I respect it. I don't, I don't dislike him. But even if I did dislike him, I know enough to respect what he has done for not just battle rap. I mean, basketball. It's like basketball. Not what he's done for basketball, but what he's done for himself, too. Um, so that's pretty dope. Uh, but salute to... We'll see where it goes. Salute to DNA. Uh, moving on. So Jazz the Rapper announced yesterday, you know what I'm saying, that she's coming back. She's going to be back battle rapping again. You know, I know a lot of people were saying Jazz was uh, 
capping for a while, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't battling, she was just, you know, doing what she was doing. But she's coming back and she's back to that big bag, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pulling up some of the things that she said, you know what I'm saying? Like she said, someone told her, if it ain't fit, how big, how big does that bag really matter? She said, it doesn't matter what my bag is because you're not paying me. Also, smaller names don't get you a bigger, smaller pay. If anything, it gets you bigger. Are you okay? Basically, she's saying, if it doesn't, if you're not paying me, if you're not paying me, it doesn't matter. And this was to a fan. And she was saying, smaller names don't make you a bigger bag, or et cetera, et cetera. Um, and a lot of other tweets, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's just basically responding to people saying that, uh, her coming back, you know, knowing her worth and what she brings to the table and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Because Beasley has said on Caffeine that Jazz the Rapper is returning to Battle Rap. You'll see Jazz back on the stage in April or May. That was from Let's Talk Battle Rap, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, them niggas, they get busy with the news and shit like that. So, Misfit, who a lot of people think is against, I think is against Misfit too. If I had to bet, if I was a betting man, my 10... If like from scale of 1 to 10, I'd have like a 7 to 10 odds that her battle is going to be against Misfit. I would say 7 out of 10 chances. If it's somebody else besides that, like for instance, if they do like uh, someone, another name and then Misfit. But I think all roles lead to Misfit. The reason why is because Misfit was the one who put out that uh, Jazz was uh, working as a police dispatcher, whatever the case may be. She got that information. She put it out. She's been on her brake lights on on, a, on the fucking Expert Opinion show and everywhere else for like the last 28 years. So I think that makes the most sense and I think it's the most logical. So honestly, I think it's versus her. Misfit tweets. So Jazz takes a year to write for me. Now she's ready. Miss me with this shit. I'll write my sh the day before. I got sh to do. Basically saying that uh, Jazz took a, a a whole year to write for her. You know what I'm saying? And she says she's she's basically insinuating that. You know what I'm saying? She got she got she got her year together, and now she's ready for a battle. You know what I mean? Like you know how a lot of people do. But anyway, um, so the thing is, like with Jazz. I know the money was was a big deal. I heard behind the scenes, I was hearing, you know what I'm saying, that Jazz wanted uh, bread, bread. And when you start to get more money, the people around you should start getting more money. Everybody keep bragging about these millions and all this money that's being thrown around. Everybody's not going to battle for chicken nuggets. So I don't blame it. Get your bag. You know what I say. Get paid, young nigga. Get paid. That's a Snapple Top fact, too. So if the money is there... It's time for her to get paid because people often do the comparison of WNBA to NBA. It's not even comparable. The highest played, the highest paid player in the WNBA only makes $117,000 a year. Don't worry. I did the research. I did the knowledge. Uh, Dewan or Bonner, uh, 127,000. Breon um, January makes 119,000. Uh, Candace Dupree, one of the highest paid players, makes $117,000 a year. Uh, LeBron James makes almost $300,000 a game. So what it takes to make you in a year, someone makes in a day. The worst player in the NBA makes 10 times more than the best female. Uh, but that's not with battle rap. With battle rap, if the bread is there, should be getting paid. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Like she should be getting to that bag. Uh, but people gonna want to see Jazz at a high level because you know the amount of time it took to see her. I did my, I was looking around. and I think her last three round battle on URL it might have been E Hart. You know what I'm saying? I think she has like some shit um, in one of the Euro leagues. Uh, Taco Bell, Tony, Tony Shuffle, or whatever. T I don't know. I ain't even see that shit. I'm be honest with you, Jack. I ain't fucking see that shit. I, I'm what? What you want me to do? I ain't see it. I ain't gonna cap. Be like, yeah, I saw it. You did. I ain't that. I ain't see it. Um, I see a lot of people talking about Briz Rothstein returning and returning on RBE. Uh, I haven't seen nothing official. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sit here and make a bunch of blogs uh, with speculation. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see nothing. I ain't heard nothing. ARP ain't hit me directly. Briz Rothstein ain't hit me directly. So until I see something like that, or I hear, they're way too calculated. They're way too smart. They're not. ARP is not announcing Briz 
returning if he was to in a fucking tweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to maximize whatever going on. And he, the event is called Max Out. He said he's, he's been promoting some shit called Max Out. So I don't see Briz Rothstein, if he was to return, he ain't returning via no damn tweet. He ain't returning via no live stream. So if it was to happen, we gonna know it's gonna because it's big money involved. Big money, big promotion, big thing. Yo, shit, King Lowe's just said he got paid 20, 20 grand? King Lowe said he got paid 20 grand to Battlehead Ice. And I can't remember one. Well, I do remember one. The shit where he told Diddy, I went to, uh, I gave 10K and this is just a return on my investment. I don't remember nothing else that he said from that battle. That was the only shit that I, that I remember. So then they got paid 20K. You know somebody else is gonna want their money too. Um, all I'm gonna say is if it does happen, I hope it's against somebody fire. No disrespect. I don't want Briz to like start off at the low, low, low bottom niggas that nobody really cares about. It's gotta be It's gotta be up there. So uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm keeping my hands off of that because like I said, I don't wanna just like do a bunch of speculation blogs and all this other shit when I ain't heard nothing for real yet. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's solid, concrete, we'll talk. Until then, I got nothing for you. So talk to your lawyer. I'm gone.